Hi everyone, this is Shamin and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook business page uh, with your Facebook personal account. The only way to create a Facebook business page is to first have a personal Facebook account. So if you do not have a personal Facebook account, you need to have a personal Facebook account. But if you create a Facebook account and you do not upload a display picture, you left it empty and you try to create a page, you will face problems. This is what happened to my participants in some of the classes I taught at Institute for Adult Learning. My suggestion is if you have an account and your account has been around for a long time, uh, just log into your personal account and create your page. Nobody will know that that page is owned by you because it is actually not reflected. They just reflect where the admins are located. For example, I'm located in Singapore. So if you look at the page transparency, you will see that this admin is based in Singapore. Or if let's say uh, the admins are based in uh, Malaysia or Indonesia or Thailand, you will see the admin location being reflected accordingly. So what you want to do is after you are logged into your uh, personal Facebook page, you can see this is my personal account. What you want to do is click on this nine dots here. When you click on these nine dots, you will see this option called page. And all you need to do is just go to the page or go to the button and you will be directed to this page called create a page. You will need to fill in every single information that they ask you to fill in. Uh, and then at the end of all the steps, all the information that they ask, uh, you will need to click on this option called publish. When you publish the page, everyone can view it. How to know whether or not people can see it? My suggestion is to actually send the link to your friends, your family, and ask them, can you see this page? If it is published, they will be able to see the page. If it is not published, they will not be able to see the page. Okay, so this is the uh, steps on how to create. Now, I am going to go to the test page and show you what will happen if I add you. All right, so I do have a few Facebook business pages that are demo pages, and this is one of them that I've created for all students who attend the workshop. Of course, I have a few just in case something happens. But the idea is this, if you would like an admin access, but I suggest you try to create your own page and let me know if it works or if you have any questions. Once you're done creating your Facebook business page, the first thing you need to do is to go to settings, and you will see that there's a username here. So if you have not set your username, I suggest you to select your username. So in this case, I would say something like, so vertical institute class. So make sure your spelling is correct. Reason because if the spelling is wrong and you want to rename it, you wouldn't be able to rename it immediately. You have to wait for two to four weeks. And even if you rename, it's not immediate. It takes another two to four weeks uh, to be approved. Their idea, Facebook's idea is that you will not be changing your name every two weeks. And so uh, is the same application for a Facebook business page. And of course, if you keep changing your name, they will actually inflect your page up as something uh, for them to take note on. Of course, if you want to have a dash, they don't allow you, but if you want to have a dot, vertical institute dot class to make everything a little bit more readable, uh, that is possible. So once I'm done, I click save. Okay, if you do not have your username, you will have a very long uh, page name, which is not recommended. So you can see that now it is being shortened and it is very uh, nicely kind of a done up for uh, me. And this is going to help me when I share with people, uh, they understand what I'm sharing or what this page is about, just because my username is very clear. Okay, now the second thing is for you to add an admin, what do you need to do? So I'm going to go to my Facebook page, which I just renamed. I just claimed the username. You can see the, user, the name is really nicely um, put out here. I wouldn't recommend you to use uh, full stops, actually. Uh, it's best to have one username. But in my case earlier, I was just doing a demonstration to let you uh, take a look. And also, it was really hard to read uh, the, uh, the username vertical institute class okay so i separated the words so that it's easier for everyone now 
if I want to add you as an admin, uh, what I need to do is go to this button called Manage. Okay, I have already replaced the profile photo and the uh, Facebook banner, which I highly encourage you to do. So go to Canva, search for Facebook banner, Facebook cover, uh, profile photo, and um, design one and put it up, okay, if you intend to actually set up your own uh, page. Once you are on the Facebook page, just look out for this uh, button called Manage. Once you click on it, you will see uh, that there are different settings here. What you want to do is click on this button called Page Access, okay, just below uh, Events and Jobs is Page Access. When you click on Page Access, you will see that I have two admins right now. So this is how I will add you as an admin. I will click on Add New. And I'll click next and I will try to search your name and email. Uh, why I need your profile uh, picture is so that I can compare that I'm adding the right person because a lot of people have the same name and surname on Facebook. Sometimes email helps but sometimes because we are not friends on Facebook, even though I put your exact name or I put your exact email, I can't find you because the connections are more than one. So for example, let's say we have a mutual friend a very likelihood I will be able to find you even though I, I did not add you as a friend on Facebook to add you as an admin. Just take note of this, especially if you're working for an agency and an agency needs uh, admin access, okay? So let me give you an example. Let's say I look for one of you and this is your name, okay? And they're going to ask me, what am I going to allow you to edit, okay? I am going to give you everything except for this last one, which is full control. So I will not... I will not select this option. I will keep it disabled and give access. All right. So once I give access, you will receive a, a notification in your notification. And this notification will only be valid for 30 days, three zero days. If you do not accept it, it will no longer be valid. All right. So these are some security settings that Facebook has put in place over time. And I hope that this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Happy to help you out here. But I highly encourage you to create a page so that you can play around with the Facebook advertising settings on your own. But if you are unable to create a page, uh, let me know your Facebook profile name and email and profile photo. You will need to upload it to the Google Forms so that I know who to add and give uh, the demo page access to. Thank you so much for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you at our next module.